Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to have a look at how we can integrate CDN onto any Drupal website. Um, I've got a demo website set up here. As you can see, we haven't got very much content going on. What I have got is a, po a picture I've just posted of us in the park. And as you can see, um, this is quite a high resolution image. If we have a look at our source code, um, we can see that the image is currently hosted on our top level domain, e.g. on our website at demo123.org. And what we've gone ahead and done is created a CDN resource within CDNify, which is cdn.demo123.org. And this is set to pull content from demo123.org. So effectively that file, which is loaded from our web server, will in, be loaded from the CDN, drastically increasing the speed of our content. We're also going to load all of our CSS and JavaScript files and everything else that Drupal needs to run from our CDN, which is going to increase the performance of our website. So our first step is to head on over to drupal.org slash project slash CDN. We have a optional module here which we can download and install. We're going to go ahead and grab the latest version of um, this plugin um, for Drupal 7 which is what we're running. If we just go and copy the link address and then head back onto our install of Drupal, click on modules and because this is an optional module it's not included as part of the core package of Drupal so we won't find it in this list here. But what we can do is we can choose install new module and install from a URL and we're just going to paste that link that we've just copied um, to the download of the CDN module. Press install and then we'll automatically add the CDN module to our installation of uh, Drupal. Then we can choose to enable this module by checking the enable option which is Right at the bottom you'll find the module under performance and scalability. Press on save configuration. That will then enable the CDN module. Then we just need to configure the module. It's very, very straightforward to do. We'll choose configure. We'll select enabled and choose save. As you can see, we've now enabled the module. We just need to make one final change. So if we click on the details tab and on our CDN mapping option, we are just going to copy and paste the host name, which we've already pre-configured. It's important to note that we've gone ahead and set this DNS, DNS uh, up in our uh, domain. So this is already going to be working. If you haven't done that, you'll need to sort of enable that. We've got a separate tutorial, CDNFI, which covers that. Okay. So we'll just paste that in there, including the HTTP colon slash slash, press on save configuration, and we are now ready to go. Finally, um, it's, we'll see we've got an error here, which is uh, suggesting that we aggregate and compress our CSS files. So if we click on that option there, and we can then choose aggregate and compress CSS files and also JavaScript, these will give us additional speed enhancements on our website. If we now go back onto our main website back at demo123.org and if we have a look at our image and if we actually open this image in a new tab you'll see the URL it's now loaded from is cdn.demo123.org so this image is now being served up from our CDN. Furthermore if we have a look at our source code for our website and look at things like our fav icon and various CSS files or JavaScript files, you'll see they are all now loaded from the cdn.demo123.org domain name, which means they're going to be pulled off the CDN rather than being pulled from our standard web server. And that is how to update your website very, very simply using the CDN module for Drupal. The great thing about this is, of course, if you've got a large amount of pages on your Drupal installation, maybe you're running an e-commerce store or a busy portal site and you've got a lot of content, all of your content will automatically be updated. You don't need to manually go through and update old images from a couple of years ago or anything like that. It's automatically going to be CDNified and it's going to produce a huge improvement in speed and performance for your website. Thanks very much for watching.